it can be the most profound change in your whole physiology and neurology is getting rid of the toxins so that you've got a clean slate and then building up, building up your bowel flora, making your microbiome well, exercising, doing things like a cold plunge and a hot shower or a sauna, but get rid of the crap that's holding you back because the velocity of your life is dictated by that. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Wendy Myers. Welcome to the Myers Detox Podcast where I bring you experts from around the world on you know different topics related to detoxification, toxicity and how it contributes to our different health issues, anti-aging, bioenergetics, and everything related to you know biohacking and leveling up your health in numerous ways. And today we have Mark Effering on the show and uh, he has so much information. Uh, he's so brilliant. And you can just see his energy and his passion in, in the show. And he is going to be talking about nootropics and optimizing your brain performance, how to increase the number of brain cells you have and cognition and memory. And he'll also talk about you know different substances you can take to optimize your hormone levels as well and your performance just generally in life and you know improve your neurotransmitter production and just he's so interesting to talk to you i know you're going to love this show so tune in if you want to maximize your brain performance and now a word from one of our sponsors so imagine a world where we don't actually fight cancer we just tell our bodies to stop growing it sounds groundbreaking right Dr. Dana Flavin, who's a world-renowned cancer specialist for over 40 years, warns we are swimming in toxins. They're in our daily products, our food, water, and air. The real danger? These toxins signal our body to grow cancer. That's why I urge you to join Dr. Flavin and Nathan Crean, an award-winning health researcher in an eye-opening web class. They'll reveal the nine key toxins that could be triggering cancer in your body, and most importantly, how to eliminate them. Don't just fight cancer, go right to its root cause. So join me by going to conqueringcancer.com slash Wendy Myers, M-Y-E-R-S, now to register for this free web class. It's so important. Again, that's conqueringcancer.com slash Wendy Myers. Make the change today. Mark, thanks so much for coming on the show. So glad to be here, Wendy. Thank you for the invite. Yeah, so why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself and your history and how you got so interested in brain health? Oh my God. Well, I was a, I was a, I was one of those brainy, geeky, nerdy kids when I was young, uh, before I got into athletics and women. Um, I should say girls, right? As a as a teen, um, but I was what I was so nerdy that the girls weren't necessarily that interested in me. Uh, if it wasn't for a 68 Mustang and a, and a pretty good backhand in tennis, I don't know that I would have had a date. So, but luckily those things prevailed. I built my first radio when I was five and a half, um, from scratch by reading scientific American magazine. And I built my first laser when I was nine and a half. And in, in between there, um, I got my first chemistry set when I was six and my, the guy that was my dad's best friend who eventually became my stepdad owned a clinical laboratory and he was a PhD in microbiology. So he became my guide when it came to chemistry and understanding. And so I built vacuum extraction technologies and I did a lot of high voltage electronics and I, and I did all kinds of weird stuff. I had an MIT um, Xerox Park grad living at the end of the cul-de-sac where I lived. We were a very blue collar family. My dad was a hardworking heating and air conditioning guy and mom was a homemaker to six. So I had this kind of really interesting uh, 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 for some reason I was attracted to, and, um, I attracted really cool mentors. The guy that taught me transcendental meditation when I was eight years old, he saw me at school, noticed my Schwinn bicycle was really clean and, and invited me to learn TM. Um, <laughs> that, you know, the, again, the, the neighbor at the end of the cul-de-sac who, who said, Hey, you can use my garage. I've got all the electronics you'll ever need. And uh, when I come home from work, and every literally five days a week when he came home from work, I was soldering and building electronics in his garage. But we we fast forward a bit, and um, I got into weightlifting, bodybuilding, and performance sports after um, after doing tennis, uh, playing junior tennis competitively. Um, and and then in, while I was in the military, I was in the Air Force in Central California uh, during the eighties, the eighties. 
Uh, and um, I had cystic acne, really bad cystic acne, and I was working on jet aircraft at the time, which exacerbated that because I'm being drenched with oil and hydraulic fluid all day. Um, and I would ride my bicycle. I had a, a really cool um, bike, uh, Bianchi, and I would ride it like a banshee to and from the base to the little little house I rented. And so again, I'm just, I'm breaking out all over. I just can't control it. And so they, um, the Air Force says, hey, we're doing a study on a drug called, we're, we're being white rats for a, a drug called Accutane. Um, and we'd like to enroll you in this program. So I said, okay, I think. Um, and I don't know if you know anything about Accutane, but it's extremely uh, caustic substance. Um, it does uh, alleviate some of the external attributes of acne, but it does so at a cost to your liver, kidneys, muscle, tissue, bone, uh, brain, um, and other factors. So because I was at the time, I was um, 215, I'm six foot three, I was 215 and pretty low body fat because I was, I was training um, pretty hardcore. Um, they give me mega doses of this stuff to the point where I was, uh, I was singing lead. Uh, I was a lead singer in a Jesus rock band for a very tidy amount of time. <laughs> and, and I was singing a song by triumph. There's this Canadian band called triumph and they have a great tune called fight the good fight. Loved it. Excellent lyrics. I could sing it to a bunch of little Baptist kids. And, um, and as I'm raising the mic up, cause it's very high tenor, almost soprano is I raise the mic up to here and I crack from here down to here, my collarbone from my ear to the collarbone because my skin was so dry from the Accutane. And of course you have a bunch, about 300 little Baptist kids going, he's singing a secular song, right? A non-Christian song. He's on stage. This is, this is definitely not cool. <laughs> That's the work of the devil. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. So anyhow, um, uh, it was fun, but, but, um, not too many years later, a decade later, um, I was at a bed and breakfast. I was I was really depressed and I was feeling really crappy. I had no energy and I couldn't figure out why. I was in, you know, I was still working out on a, you know two or three days a week, not hardcore anymore. Um, I was building startups. Startups are hard, as you know. Um, they take everything you've got. And um, and this, I went to a bed and breakfast, and the the guy that owned it happened to be an NDMD. So he was an ear, nose, and throat, very well-known physician nationwide, but his real passion was natural health, natural wellness. Everything they 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 raise, you know, they raised their chickens to have have fresh eggs, free range on their property. They had free range goats, and and um, and it was just fantastic. So all the food was really healthy. Um, all their wines came from South America at the time, and and just a really neat place. And he just kind of diagnosed me by holding my hand and saying you know, asking me a handful of questions. And he goes, I think you might be hyper, hypothyroid. There's no guarantee, but he goes, that fatigue and the depression and the, you know, all, all the other factors, like cold hands on a warm day, um, you're, not, you're not looking good. So that turned into getting on EWAT, exercise with oxygen therapy. He put me on a treadmill, put an oxygen mask up to me and fed me, you know, almost pure oxygen, 94% pure oxygen. And um, within... 20 minutes, a big sore opened up in my lat about the size of a silver dollar. It bled out a bunch of clear fluid. He sampled it, sent it to the lab, and it was 80 plus percent Accutane. Oh, my God. Yeah. And this is after 10 years. Oh. 10 years since my last dose. And I was only on it for six months full time. And so, and I had been, again, I was an endurance athlete. I did the hood to coast race from Portland to the, to the Oregon coast every year. Um, I lived in a health club when I started my first company. So, you know, I was living and breathing um, fitness and then, of course, continued to be an, an athlete. And so well, it is amazing after... how the body releases certain toxins and how there are so many medications and perms and, and different chemicals can be in our body. And it's strange how the body can release them. Oh, it's so unpredictable. I mean, and and so unexpected. I mean, who would think that just, uh, you know, I. Uh, a fast walking pace on a treadmill with oxygen would act like a major detox event. And it wasn't the first time. Um, so that, that happened. So seven years later, um, I'm in the middle of separation with my wife, um, a lot of stress, um, building technology companies again. And, um, and I, that same doctor says, Hey, I've got an extra oxygen machine. You want it? 
and so I bought it from him and did the same thing. And again, I, I detox a different spot. I detox more Accu Accutane. And, um, but the other side of it was I started feeling like a rock star. So, um, having desiccated thyroid was the first boost. That was the thing that like took me from depressed and low energy to being really feeling vital. Took about six months for it to fully take on, but then it went from, I, I think I felt the best I had felt in 20 years, just from desiccated thyroid, getting back to exercising, breathing work, um, meditation, power naps, all the, you know, the, the, the simple things that we do compound really powerfully if we do them right. And so that, that took off and, and I just became a real advocate for it. Um, started building more companies and, and, um, at one point in there, I decided that human growth hormone was a future and not, not injected human growth hormone, but precursors that you would take, um, at night before you go to sleep that would just basically, um, uh, a kind of a, a collection of amino acid pre uh, amino acids that would activate at during the deep sleep cycle that 11 to 2 a.m time when you typically have deep sleep and it was incredible i felt great on it um, we did really well that was my first e-commerce software uh, venture and then um and then when my my uh former wife uh, we had separated we divorced and we were we were starting to date again um, and we had three kids and we really liked each other and, and things were going well. And then, um, she committed suicide on, uh, oxycodone, oxycontin, which she had, um, on the last home birth, we had all three home births. The last one was in front of the fireplace and it was beautiful. It was a morning, 10 o'clock in the morning birth. And, um, and the, the midwife gave her four oxycodone. She, she tore a little bit. They, they handed me shears and said, do you want to do an episiotomy? And I said, I really love my wife's vagina, kind of just how it is. So if it's okay, I'll I'll pass these back. So she tore a little bit. They gave her four oxycodone, and she was in love. She found her muse. So, yeah, that that was uh, that was bad. So a, a decade later, after doing, if you've ever seen any of the modern Netflix um, movies on Painkiller or any of the other ones, it's exactly what happens. It, it's just this depth uh, and depravity of doing anything you can to get the fix. And th that doesn't, it doesn't just go for oxycodone, oxycontin or any of those or fentanyl. It goes for every addictive substance and your biochemistry and the way that you, you handle it. So she eventually committed suicide on that. My son discovered her and, and, um, it was just a, a really, really incredibly, um, critical event in my life. Where... I'm so sorry. You could go, you either go create another technology company and you kind of like, like hope that the pain goes away or you look at it and go, I think I need to do something really serious to help alleviate this pain for other people. And so I created a, spent three years and, or four years and, and 3000 prototypes building a nootropic solution, um, that you would, at the time you would drink and take a capsule and it would give you a day's worth of additional cognitive boost, um, while also creating a thing called neurogenesis, the creation of new brain cells. So if you were in a learning mode, if you were doing things that were learning centric, if whether it was as simple as meditation and you were trying to get out of your head, or if you were trying to have cognitive performance before a meeting or, or just in work in general, or having focus when you were, you were trying to move some iron plates, um, the, the solution I created was really powerful for doing that. And so that took off. It just so happened to be the uh, 2011, the summer of 2011, when I got the last prototype done and it started working really well. And this movie called Limitless came out and I had um, a little over 1100 uh, prototype clients that were taking the stuff. And I said, what do I call this stuff? And they said, dude, you should call the thing from that movie. And I hadn't seen the movie. <laughs> so, so I went and saw the movie. I bought every domain around NZT, um, and uh, and then it just took off like crazy. So we we grew very fast, and and um, and then at the same time, we got as you're well aware, your client comes to you for a certain condition, and they leave with a very unexpected um, solution because what they came for was maybe a second or third level byproduct of what the real condition was, the real heart of it. Um, and so 
I started developing products for um, to deal with mood, to deal with um, focus, to deal with um, hormone levels, hormone management, and, um, and eventually had a fairly expanded list of about 33 products. And then, then I met these really cool guys, uh, uh, Matt Gallant and Wade Lightheart um, and Andy Wilkinson of Bioptimizers, and they said, hey, we want to do what you're doing, but we want to make it bigger than you can make it. And I said, yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> well, yeah, well, tell us, tell us about nootropics, like for anyone who's kind of not in the know, uh, like what are nootropics and how can they help boost your, your health and your performance and your, your brain function? Oh, I love it. Great question. Um, so there are compounds, there are natural compounds, um, like a thing called intellect tree seed or, or, uh, Malkagani is the oil component of it. Um, Salastris paniculatus is the Latin name. And it's this really beautiful Indian vine seed that, um, is very deep in, in this oil and you can, you extract this oil from it. Um, it's high in omega-3, so it's not an, it's not a pro-inflammatory, it's an anti-inflammatory oil. But more importantly, it increases the oxygen in the brain and it promotes a thing called BDNF, brain-derived nootrophic factor, which is basically fertilizer for the brain to help you create new brain cells. Yeah, the, we can all use some the, of that. <laughs> I definitely have killed off a lot. I need new ones. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm, I'm, I'm 62 now and the whole point is is um, having that lightning fast brain. I, I used to run an incubator in Newport Beach, California called techcoast.com. And I constantly was having to deal with these super smart MBAs. And you either level up or you level out. And uh, so it was great. And having these kind of uh, collective ingredients that helped you to have um, systematically higher brain power and to be able to rewire your brain for like traumatic stress, um, any of those things. Um, so I, you know, I have a, a therapist that I go to every three weeks. She's incredible. And, um, and as we're going through timeline therapy and some of the other things dealing with, you know, traumatic issues that you may have had in your life, I'll take a nootropic. Um, we have a, a one called brain flow. It's really great. It's a, it's an oil and powder based, um, capsule solutions. It's really cool looking and, and even cooler working, but as it's creating this this neurogenesis, these, these blooms of new brain cells, I'm going through this therapy, this therapeutic activity of going, let's systematically go to that pain point and let's, um, let's remove the negative emotion from it. Let's go find the positive things that happened and let's go look at it through a new lens. And so my brain's firing, it's building these new neural pathways. So instead of me viewing that thing as a pain point, I could view it as a learning opportunity and a learn, you know, a cool thing that may have happened. Because if you look at the events that have occurred, you can either be bound by them, bound by the pain and the drama and the crap, or you can be using it as this kind of incredible, um, you know, jumping off point of greater success in your life, greater relationships, you know, greater love. Um, and so, nootropics, though they're they're kind of the, you know, the, the thing that we think of, the core of them is brain enhancement, whether it's, you know, acetylcholine enhancement or brain oxygen level or um, mitochondrial energy enhancement. So basically shuttling um, short chain fatty acids in and out of the mitochondria to be able to improve your cognitive performance. Or maybe it's, um, maybe it's helping to elevate ketone levels if you happen to be ketogenic. By the way, my favorite cups ever, you're, I've, I've got full sets in my house and that's, uh, I live on those. What, these cups? Um, yeah, 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 they're the best. <laughs> I love them too. Best. Um, is, uh, they're, they're a glass, if you haven't seen it, they're a glass vacuum, uh, two layer cup and they, so they don't transfer heat. If you're having a, a warm drink, it stays warm for everything. Yeah, cold drink, awesome. ice doesn't even melt. Yeah, awesome. Yep. And they're glass, so you're not going to be leaching any kind of weird chemicals out of them. For sure. Yeah. And so, so let's talk about, you know, how people like you can optimize your brain function with nootropics. And so what about with hormones? Look, so how do, how, you know, like what kind of substances can you take to, to optimize your hormones? Cause a lot of people just think of like hormone replacement, um, you know, certainly women that are in menopause, there's a lot of men taking testosterone, but there's a lot of ways that you can optimize your testosterone levels as well. Oh my gosh. Yes. In fact, it's really important. Um, so I'm, again, I'm 62 
and the last um, uh, last testosterone measure I had, I was I was idling at 750 combined testosterone, and I could peak at just under 1100. So, um, and those are the levels that you would um, when I was you know lifting weights, bodybuilding, training. Those were the levels I had in my 20s. And so they're indicative of our aging process. They're indicative of our performance. They're also indicative of if your hormone levels are good, your moods are going to be stable, your performance is going to be high, your natural energy level and sensuality and sexuality are going to be higher, your ability to perform in every aspect of life are better, and your tolerance for bullshit is also higher. You can take more crap in your life without folding, without falling away, without disappearing. And so really important stuff. So when we, when we talk about hormones, let's start, let's start at what the basis for hormones are, and that is primarily cholesterol. So, yeah, uh, so vegeta you... vegetarian and vegans will listen up because you need to eat, <laughs> you have to eat cholesterol to make hormones. I mean, our liver makes cholesterol too, but you have to get it from the diet as well to give the, the liver the building blocks to make cholesterol. Some. Yes. And for those of you that have decided to ascribe to statins, which I'm again, I'm not going to I'm not going to fault them, but I would suggest that that you find alternative methods when you start blocking the enzymes that create cholesterol um, in the liver, which is what most statins do. You're, gonna, you're in big um, trouble. Big trouble. Yeah, you're you're right. So here's the deal that um, hormones are made primarily most of the hormones in the body are made from cholesterol. And there's a thing called the cholesterol hormone um, pyramid or cholesterol hormone chain or cascade. And essentially it starts with cholesterol. The thing under that is a form of pregnenolone. Then there's another form of pregnenolone that's more bioavailable. And then you have these branches that come off of it. One branch is for all of the androgens, the, the male hormones, and one is for the estrogens or the female hormones. And you want levels of both of those. You don't want to be 100% testosterone those bodybuilders out there, you want to have enough estrogen in there to keep skin elasticity, to keep your brain clear. There's a lot of factors in there and you want to have a balance of those things. So aside from doing precursors, which are really important, taking um, all, all the precursors you can that work effectively, making sure your cholesterol levels are good, are healthy. Um, there are things like for men, um, doing large muscle exercises will promote testosterone in a big way. Using precursors like DHEA and pregnenolone, those are very important and can be incredibly powerful. Um, the right kinds, um, micronized um, or the, the the precursors to those can be really helpful. And like, um, yeah, and, and so essentially taking those is going to give you a lever up because they're going to convert quickly into the metabolites that you need to be able to actually activate those in the bloodstream and have all the downstream hormones that are going to be effective. So think pregnenolone, DHEA, ratios of those. Um, like a woman, five milligrams of pregnenolone can make an a incredible difference in their performance overall. But you may go up to as much as 50 milligrams. If your adrenals are are completely trashed, you've had you know, you've had chronic stress for years on on end, you've been raising children or you've been you've been in a in a high stress job or you're just trying to balance life, um, then basically replacing that component or, or creating an environment for that component um, can be really, really valuable. And then DHEA on the other side, I found ratios of 80-20 seems to be the most effective. If you're male, 80% DHEA to 20% um, pregnenolone can do, it can work wonders on your brain and your, and your body. And also, when you're trying to activate the cognitive performance enhancement of nootropics or any of the compounds that you normally might lean into to, to improve cognitive performance, if your hormone levels aren't right, you're not going to get the end result that you're looking for. You might get a little boost, but it's not going to last long enough and it's not going to be high enough for you to have that kind of holy crap experience that you want to have. Of I, I'm, You've done a lot of speaking, live speaking. You know how sharp you have to be, Wendy. You know that when you're having that connection with with the group that you're speaking to, which is the first, you know, you can see somebody's energy. You can see somebody's, the way that they're responding. You can see their engagement. You can see them leaning forward versus the blank thousand yard stare. And a lot of that can be 
can be enhanced, dramatically enhanced, that lean forward, lean into, learn, curiosity can be enhanced by bringing hormone levels up. And then nootropics and other components like that can boost that even further. Yeah. And there's so many things working against our hormones today. There's so many plasticizers from the BPA and the heavy metals and the chemicals. I just recently finished uh, filming a, a heavy docu-series talking about how heavy metals and chemicals impact our hormones and other aspects of our health. But yeah, it's just shocking, you know, and I think it's it's really important for people to do things to optimize their hormones, they can feel better. I mean, it's just one of the most basic things you can do. And I wish I'd started testing my hormones years, years ago before I started. Um, but so what what kind of products do you have to optimize hormones? Like what kind of nutrients and other things, or what is your specific product that you made to optimize hormones? So we did a, we did a number, because that's the way we operate. Um, is um, So we did a, a couple called um, DHEA, and DHEA. <laughs> <laughs> so these are um, sublingual, meaning that you take them by, by basically you, it's a capsule. You tap it, you pour it into your tongue. It dissolves. It tastes great. It's fine, and um, it's really great. So let me let me go into. I've got I've got my uh, so DHEA. By the way, what, you're the the common folks that listen to your podcast. What's your makeup? Do you know what your your Male, female age? Yeah, it's about forty percent men, sixty percent women. About forty to yeah. forty to sixty. Fantastic. Younger, older, mid middle age, what are they? Yeah, like forty to sixty. Oh perfect. roughly. Yeah. So let's take DHEA as a component. Um and so you have a we have a, a you know tiny amount of DHEA. We've got some pregnenolone, a little higher amount. Um methylcobalamin, which is vitamin B twelve in the methylated form. So methylation factors happen to be a pretty major issue in people. And cyanocobalamin, um, this, the cyan part is, uh, is contrary to a lot of people's, um, the way their body might be able to do uptake. So pretty big. Um, P5P, when you talk about vitamin B6, so what a lot of people don't realize is the, vitamin, the B vitamins are actually enzymatic precursors in all of these cellular processes that happen in the body. And so... When you're taking a vitamin, when you're taking a B vitamin, you're not necessarily introducing this B vitamin into your system. And the B vitamin is just, is, is like this thing you need as a B vitamin. It's a thing you need as an enzymatic precursor to help your body start to generate all of these, you know, these cascade, these downward uh, metabolites and cofactors that your body's looking for to be able to create all of the, you know, there's 20,000 enzymatic activities in the body. So you and these are really key factors in that. So, so think of it like that. So P5P happens to be the B6 that is super bioavailable. It's 400% more bioavailable than traditional B6. So, um, this really cool um, compound called triacetyluridine, triacetyluridine. So uridine is a naturally occurring uh, compound. It's, it's made in the, typically made in the gut, and what it is is a choline precursor. So choline is one of the primary neurotransmitters for, for thinking, for, for memory, for recall, and um, just for basically fast thinking. It's the thing that crosses the synapse and says, this thing that I remember from 20 years ago, it brings it across the synaptic gap and it brings it into view so that you can actually access that memory. Triacetyluridine is really cool. It's a super powerful form of uridine um, where 20 to 50 milligrams is the equivalent of taking you know grams of choline the challenge with taking choline directly, um, and which you can and actually is pretty good, um, is that um, if you take too much, if you're taking direct choline, your body doesn't know how to regulate that. And so if you take too much, what happens is that this kind of overpopulation of choline in the brain causes brain fog and can even cause depression. So using precursors to choline and signaling molecules that say, hey, I've got this precursor. How much choline do you need for the cognitive performance that you need right now? You're in a learning mode, so you need higher cognitive performance. You're in sleep, you want lower cognitive performance. So those kinds of things. And that's what triacetyluridine, and then uridine monophosphate, it's brother um, as well. So, and then we have things like, it's, so we have CDP choline, which is a direct choline precursor, but again, very low dose. It's one of the signaling molecules that say, hey, let's co-create some more choline. 
Um, and then theanine, L-carnitine, L- L-tartrate, um, glycine, and then um, the this uh, this there's a, a there's a form of grapeseed extract that does a thing. It mitigates a thing called a CP450 enzyme. So there's this cytokine 450 enzyme in the gut, and that gut breaks things down quickly. And sometimes it breaks them down so quickly that we don't achieve the benefit of those things. It also keeps them from circulating in the bloodstream. You'll see people say, well, don't take, don't drink grapefruit juice with your X med, with whatever medication you're having. And the reason for that isn't that it's bad. It's that that med will actually circulate in your bloodstream far longer. Its half-life will be extended two, three, four times what it would be otherwise. So literally you could use it as a potentiator and take one quarter of the amount of your med. No, I'm not recommending this, not a doctor. I just know how it works in the bloodstream. But in the same way, we can use it in our compounds to be able to extend the half-life of these choline precursors or dopamine precursors, right? Um, and so it's a great way for your body to have the signaling molecule and the enzymatic blocker or precursor so that you can get this extended performance. So that's kind of, that's our DHEA breakdown. Um, uh, but yeah, it's, and it's really amazing. What's really amazing is that one is it being sublingual, which means that, you know, it's, it's being absorbed through these capillaries that are under your tongue and in your cheek. And that's smart because so um, many people have digestive issues. They, they don't absorb a lot of the supplements that they're taking. And you guys listening to this show, I know that you're worried about the level of toxins you have in your body. You're worried about your toxic body burden and what it's doing to your health and to your brain, et cetera. So I created a quiz that you can check out at heavymetalsquiz.com. It just takes a couple of seconds. And after you take the quiz, you get your results and a free video series on everything related to detoxification. I answer a lot of your frequently asked questions about detox. You get a great video series, totally free, uh, answering a lot of your questions. So check it out, take it at heavymetalsquiz.com. Oh yeah, it's it's crazy. And the other is because they don't have a proper microbiome is, and again, for somebody that was on, I was on, um, uh, I was on really bad um, uh, uh, clinical products to to get rid of um, to get rid of acne when I was younger, and as a result, my whole bowel flora was just decimated. So I wasn't creating my own B vitamins, which is our often created in the gut. And I also was not digesting food well. I wasn't getting the right nutritional balance out of it. So I was going through these cycles of, of I'd feel great because maybe I took, you know, maybe I ate the right stuff and drank the right fluids that day and, and got good sleep the night before. And then the next day I'd be trashed. And I wouldn't understand that it was all happening in my gut. So yeah, restoring microbiome is huge. And one of the things that, that our company of optimizers is really good at is one is enzymes to help break down the food so you can actually have, get the, the nutritional content from the food into your body. And the other is um, basically restoring your microbiota so that you're actually healthy and can create your own nutritional health. So Yeah, you can create a lot of your own vitamins and serotonin and whatnot just by fixing your gut bacteria. And, and then what kind of uh, supplements have you created for brain optimization? So the brain nootropics that you have, this is really interesting. So a couple things. One is uh, more than a couple things, but um, we'll go a couple things on this one. Um, so your, um, you know, the the uh, branding of your site and your your business is around detoxification, which is huge. Um, is uh, and so when so when I started creating these solutions back in from 2008 to, to 2012. Um, was the first kind of the first round of testing and beta testing and beta testing and beta testing, and sending people test tubes of crappy tasting powder and saying, how do they make you feel? <laughs> <laughs> Not how does it <laughs> taste? How does it make you feel? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. They taste great now, but back then it was a, it was a crap shoot. The challenge was right about that time, what came the legalization of marijuana in the Pacific Northwest, which is where I lived and in um, in you know parts of California and of course Denver, Colorado. So and I had a lot a lot of our nutritional supplement clients, and uh, were also said, hey, weed's legal. Let me go try this stuff as either a you know a sleep or an anti anxiety, you know an anxiolytic or something like that. 
So we started doing that. And, and what I was finding was that their uptake of the nootropics or their brain enhancing solutions was slower or it was blunted. Uh, by yeah, the way, I'm they not were, anti- Because they were smoking blunts. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. In fact, um, so I started smoking weed when I was in fifth grade and I quit in seventh grade because my big brother, who's a hero of mine, said he said he quit and he just he lied to me but um but he hated seeing me i used to have a gangster hat a fedora with a line of joints around the band <laughs> pull one out and smoke it on the way home from school um and so but i uh, but so i quit smoking weed in seventh grade and i started running i started becoming a runner um and six months after running and i ran every day and i ran hardcore um, I ran and, and I, and I would put like a positive mental thought in my head. I would talk to myself with positive stuff because I had some, some challenges, some family challenges at the time. So I had to create the positive mental thought because I was going to go home to some not so positives. Right. And, yeah, um, so and five brothers and sisters. <laughs> exactly. Yep. You know, the gig. So it was amazing. And what happened is six months into it, I woke up in a Saturday morning and I finally, like I woke up and I was crystal clear and I realized that it took, and this is, I'm, you know, I'm what, 12 years old maybe, is it took six months of running every day. Not right. We used to run in gym class. We had gym class in school. So we ran in gym class. I ran hardcore then, but I also ran every day after school. And, um, it took six months of running every day at 12 years where you're regenerating your body and your brain very fast for me to wake up on a Saturday morning and finally have my head clear. I'm not against weed. I'm not against THC and the benefits and, and a lot of the kind of, and mushrooms and, and the rest. But I do know that there are certain things that'd be valuable to kind of do minimum, minimum viable dose, not who can clear the biggest, you know, bong hit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Well, that's what you do when you're 12. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, wait, maybe not 30, I, maybe like 40 year olds aren't doing that, but who knows? <laughs> we had a friend, his name was John Zimmett, who was also an athlete. He was a soccer player and he had a six foot bong. So to be cool, they would stand me up on a chair and have me clear a six foot bong because I had good, you know, good breath control, right? Um, anyhow, yeah, good times, good times. So, so I'm going to, I'm going to circle back on this. So what I did was I, I realized that I was getting this blunted performance, by the way. So, um, our nootropics are customized, personalized, and optimized. So they're not just a one size fits all solution. So what I did was I started looking at what are the ways, what are the, what are the compounds, the organic natural compounds that can pass the blood brain barrier and which is a filter that's right at the base of your skull. And it keeps, it basically lets the blood go through, but it's supposed to block, supposed to block, um, you know, poisons and chemicals and, and those elements. Um, and then there are sneaky ones like mercury and, and a lot of heavy metals that can find their way through lead, right? Platinum, um, palladium. I mean, it, we can go on and on and on. We can go the, right, the whole scale, but um, really, really bad for you. So what I did was created um, these thing called mental reboot. You have a mental reboot, PM and AM. And the idea was if at night, so there's a, there's a thing that happens at night that I think is really, really important for people to understand. Your brain is wanting to detox every night. So when Andrew Huberman says, get your sleep, what he's saying is during your sleep cycle, your brain is shrinking a slight amount and around each of the capillaries, and you've got miles and miles of capillaries in your brain. Um, around the capillary, cerebral spinal fluid is flowing and it gives it a little bit more room to flow. And what it's gonna do is the membrane on those capillaries is very thin. So it's, and so the cerebral spinal fluid will pull out the toxins, run them through your spinal column and out your body. So that's one function of sleep is to detoxify your brain. Hence, the, if you're sleep deprived, you're probably going to have some cumulative toxicity issues in the brain. Yeah. And just imagine if you have like five years or 10 or 20 years of oh. sleep deprivation or trouble sleeping where you can't figure out what's going on. I mean, I mean, that definitely 
was one foot in the grave for my father who had sleep apnea and just woke up, woke up 70 times a night on a sleep study. And there's a, a lot of people out there that aren't sleeping for one reason or another, but it, it's in the, you know, reaching your 40s, 50s, and 60s, you're, you're one foot in the grave if you're not sleeping for so many different reasons, including detoxification. Absolutely. It's, it's key. Um, in fact, uh, it's the most, as I discovered doing EWAT, exercise with oxygen therapy when I was younger, is it can be the most profound change in your whole physiology and neurology is getting rid of the toxins so that you've got a clean slate and then building up, building up your bowel flora, making your microbiome well, exercising, doing things like whether it's cold, a cold plunge and a hot shower or a sauna, but get rid of the crap that's holding you back because the velocity of your life is dictated by that. I'm not it doing cold stuff. I'm just going to have to die. <laughs> I'm just going to have to like not, no anti-aging, burning fat. I'm not doing cold stuff. <laughs> it's just not me. I, I did a, I did a podcast tour in Austin of, uh, of 10 different podcasters and every one of them said, Hey man, I've got a cold plunge here. If you want to, before we get on the air, I'm going, yeah, it's great for you. Go for it, bro. <laughs> on Wait, that, um, that trend yeah yeah so there's there's simple stuff but but if but so we make this this metal reboot pm and then we make an am version as well so and what it does is essentially it sets up it it accelerates the detoxification process that your body is already going through at night so that in the morning you're at a a, a higher baseline level of cognitive performance and we have a thing called uh, metal reboot am that you can take in the morning or you can replace it with one of our DHEA or DHEA uh, sublinguals, and that basically raises it up so that your your hormone levels are now optimized, and your brain is detoxified. So now you can take a nootropic like, um, you know, li like a brain flow, which is an exceptionally cool capsule. Um, here I've got some here. Um, or you can take a, a dopa drops. We have a, a dopamine enhancer. There's it's a, a three-stage dopamine. There's a lot of people that are dopamine deficient. Like if you have no motivation or drive, or you know, or you or you have addictions, you know, you might want to look at optimizing your your dopamine. Or if you're smoking, smoking, you're just going to dopamine hit. That's all you're. That's all you're looking for. You're not looking for a cigarette. And so I think that's it's something to be aware of. It's it's a big thing, and um, and even getting likes on Instagram and and Facebook and and you know TikTok, yeah. So what we don't realize, I mean, I I used to be hardcore Facebook, which I still love. Um, I just don't have the time. <laughs> I don't have as much time as I'd like to to be social. And I would have four or five threads going at a time, and just the thrill of having a quick response and and you know keeping the thread going and. And having and and you know and collaborating with people was just a blast, and and I found that when I wasn't, like it was almost like having this you know it's like the 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 falling off the curve the performance curve after, um you know after a cocaine or Molly or whatever is you know you feel like crap for the next two or three days because you used up all your dopamine in that event and you got your body used to this kind of elevated level of of you know jitter caffeine. Um, a dopaminergic activity, and yeah, it just it it just ruins you. So, we created a three stage dopaminergic product called Dopa Drops, and what it does is it gives you precursors to dopamine and a little tiny bit of L-dopa with a signaling molecule to say, let's restore your dopamine levels to what they need to be, what they should be, and then let's give you the ability to create as much dopamine as you want without depleting all your dopamine, so that you can go do high dopaminergic activities, whether that's that's you know uh, doing some hit some high intensity interval training, or having sex, or or you know doing something really cool that you want to do, and having that 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 surplus of dopamine that isn't getting you into a hyper euphoric state like it might on a drug, but enough that it fills in the gap so that you don't have um, you know you don't run out of dopamine at the end of it and feel like crawling into a corner and and escaping the world for two or three days while you recover. <laughs> I know that's a, a lot of people after uh, coming to Tulum or Mexico. <laughs> where I am. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And and I think a lot of people also just, they don't make enough serotonin. There's, there's a lot of things you can do to boost your neurotransmitter levels as well as, you know, 
improving your, your gut flora as well. But yeah, you were, you were talking about another uh, brain nootropic before. Yeah, so we have so, so you have a, a thing called brain flow. And brain flow is, um, is acetylcholine dominant, a slight amount of these hormone precursors, and, um, and this malcagani or, or the Celastris paniculatus oil that um, it really works great. It's, an, it's a capsule within and a capsule. So you have a, a powder capsule. It's highly compressed of these critical components with your oils. And um, it's basically an oil substrate on the outside. And you take it and the oil dissolves, um, the, the outer capsule dissolves at um, essentially in your the top of your gut. So at a, at a 2.7 to 4.2 level of pH. So right there at the stomach acid level. And then the inner capsule dissolves at a 6.7 to 7.2 level. And so it's past the duodenum in your gut, and it slowly um, goes through the membrane of your gut into your bloodstream. The oil is now already circulating in your bloodstream. The oil picks up these nootropics, brings it through the blood-brain barrier, and then it goes into and creates the neurotransmitters that you're looking for to create this higher cognitive performance. It's really, really cool. And then when you talk about serotonin, as you're well aware, it's a 90 to 95% of the serotonin is made in the gut. Um, the vagal nerve is the transfer unit that says, hey, you should create some in your brain too. We got a bunch of serotonin down here. Um, and so we created a product um, originally for me where I, I wanted to get rid of, of um, seasonal, I had a seasonal depression type of thing going on. And so I, I was living in the Pacific Northwest in Portland, Oregon area, just rains, nine months of the year. And so um, and I wasn't getting out enough during, during the sunny parts. So, um, and that really helped. And it, basically it's a serotonin, a stack of serotonin and B vitamin precursors, um, that basically increase the serotonin levels while also increasing a little bit of dopamine, a little bit of acetylcholine, um, a significant amount of serotonin and having that balance, think of it as a, as a, you know, you're putting a symphony together of these different neurotransmitters. And when you get those neurotransmitters in the right balance, you start feeling great and you start operating well and you start getting this, this enhanced benefit. And I don't like to think of it as a crutch. It's more of a performance boost that you can rely on. It's really dependable. And, and the other thing is it starts to change the way your brain operates so that you operate in that state more often easier. So there comes a time when you don't even, all you do is you think of that state and you're able to go there because your neural pathways have been rethreaded to be able to get into that performance and the neurotransmitters start releasing because they know what to do now. Yeah, that's fantastic. And I love that it's very like your how people can choose their supplements, so to speak, is you it's very customizable because you have people fill out a form about what's going on with them and just all kinds of information to help customize what it is that they need to be taking. Yeah, it's a, it's a big deal. When I was doing these prototypes, I did, you know, I spent four years and built over over 3,000 prototypes. And in the process of doing that, when I didn't customize, when I didn't select the right components for that particular customer based on their age, weight, sex, height, exercise routine, foods they ate, are they ketogenic? Are they not? Are they vegetarian? Are they not? Um, do, are they on certain meds? Do they take certain vitamins? Do they take certain oils? Um, those kinds of, how's their sleeping habits? Once I started taking that data into account is it went from a 32% roughly um, performance increase to 97 plus percent, meaning that instead of 30% of the people going, hey, this rocks, and then the other 70% going, eh, it went, from, it went to a 97% said, hey, this is awesome, this is great. And the cool thing about that is once you kind of dial in that client is they can use, we have a, an app, an integrated app and online forms, and our, we've got an incredible customer service team. Is you can say, hey, this is working for me, but I want a little bit more of, I want to feel a little bit more like this, or I want more state change or state optimization like this. And then we know what to do. We go, oh, cool. We know how to change the two or three neurochemical precursors in that, or the stim level or some other factor to give you that performance that you're looking for. So it's an infinite horizon of performance increase, not just a one time you hit tolerance, you're done, um, which is typically happens with people when they, they take a, a super nutrient and 90 days later they go, eh, it's just not doing anything for me anymore. We never want you to get into that state. We want you to constantly have the opportunity to increase your performance 
and keep going on that level. And I think, do you know Matt or Wade or have you met them before? Yes, I have. I have. So these guys are the example of super performers. And they've just, they, they, every time Matt and I are on a phone call every night, every, every Tuesday, we have a full team in Bosnia. We, we basically sponsor a wing, the microbiology wing of the university, the Birch University in Bosnia. So we have 25 PhD, PhD candidates there, and they're just doing scientific research for us. So we, we tell them on Tuesday, we'd like to see this, this, and this. We want to go in this direction and we're interested in these compounds. And then the next week they come back with thousands of data points on that. Matt is one of the few people I've ever met who can take that data, do something valuable with it, and in the middle of a conversation with these folks, locate a really bizarre, extreme, unique edge molecule and go, hey, that's interesting to me. I read something about that in NCBI or PubMed or, or you know, Nature or one of these journals. What, what can we do with that? Or, or how does that affect that? Or, and it's just a, a, an indic indicative of the fact that he is on that infinite horizon performance curve. And also it's hopeful. If he can do it, I can, anybody can do it. He's, you know, he's 45 or 46 years old now. Um, he's a badass in every way. Wade, just three-time Mr. Universe, uh, vegetarian, right? Vegan. And, um, and after his last, his last contest for Mr. Universe, he, uh, he took two months, learned how to run, had never been a runner and ran a marathon, ran the Vancouver BC marathon. Wow. And that's, I mean, and it's not, he's, he's not an edge case. He doesn't have to be an edge case. You and I can do that. We can commit ourselves to that level of health and wellness and performance. And hopefully the solutions that we create, these nootropics that help your brain perform at that level and help your brain and body to be able to call up, to be able to articulate to have verbal fluency, to have the cognitive performance, to have a better memory and a better way of actually working day to day, as well as enhancing our mood so that we feel good. Because ultimately, right, you can be the smartest guy in the room, but if you're the smartest person in the room and you feel like shit, that's not a real great place to be. Yeah, yeah. And I think there's, for me, I kind of can struggle with memory at times. So I'm definitely looking for something to, to boost my memory levels for sure. And then on who doesn't want that, you know, and, and many people feel like, you know, they'll even get into their thirties. And I experienced this too. Maybe after I had my, my child, I had like mommy brain, but after a year, like I still had mommy brain. I'm like, there's no way this is from having a baby still. There's just something going on or, uh, and I think a lot of people can, you know, attribute different like hormonal issues or neurotransmitter issues or, gut health issues that, oh, I'm just getting older. And it's not true. There's there's a lot that you can do to optimize your memory and your cognition and your brain performance. I was in business at one time with the founder of Century 21 Real Estate. It was Marsh Fisher. I was living in Newport Beach and I was running an incubator, a technology incubator where you people bring you ideas and you help them to make that idea into a business. This is during the early dot-com revolution. Marsh was 76 years old when I met him. This is in 2001. And, um, and the, I, I met him, we, we stayed out at Il Fornaio, a really great Italian restaurant till two in the morning. We closed the place down the next morning at 7am. He calls me and he says, and he, and he, and first thing he did was he told me a joke and it was a good joke. He actually wrote it. And, um, and then he said, I think you should run my company. It was called idea Fisher. It was a brainstorming software company and I took over his company, but I share that because at 76 years old, that guy was sharper than most of the MBAs I was dealing with every day. And the reason was at between four and five in the morning, he woke up every morning, he grabbed a massive, he, di he didn't know how to use software, but he had our software printed out into a book of every <laughs> word, word association you could think of. And he would just go through the book and he would find these word associations and he would write jokes around it. And just writing a joke every day became his tonic for keeping his brain alive. And up until the day he died, he was as sharp as a whip and also gave me an idea of what cognitive performance was available um, to us as we age. If we'll just take care of our brains, if we'll just take care of our bodies and, you, and your body's huge. If you want to get the, the best cure for cognitive decline is exercise, right? Great diet, detoxification making sure you're drinking clean, clean fluids, 
And um, yeah, and it, it'll it'll change your life. And then if you really want to go to the next level, nootropics rock. Yeah. <laughs> yes. 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 And yeah. So why don't you tell us what is your your website, and where can we get some of your nootropics? Well, I love it. Well, first, I think you've probably got a coupon code somewhere, Wendy, for uh, for your clients. Um, so make sure that they get that. Yeah. And yeah. It's to... Wendy ten. So just put in Wendy ten, and you guys will get a ten percent discount on any of the nootropics on your website. Dig it. Um, by the way, you have the correct spelling of Myers. Um. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Well, that's why I made the coupon code uh, Wendy Ted. So you don't have to worry about spelling Myers. I'm like, don't make <laughs> Myers detox coupon codes. Because people like them. Yeah. Oh. Wendy Ted. So. Wendy Ted. And, and go to newtopia.com. N-O-O-T-O-P-I-A.com. And that'll get you to, uh, to Newtopia. Here's the deal. You go to the website. There's a free neurochemical test that you'll take. Just click that button. It'll only take you a few minutes. But the cool thing is you'll have a, a much better idea of what your neurochemical balance is before you you go anywhere. And it's free and it, it's, it's really fast. And then when you go from there, you can then go and take a look at what solutions we have for you. And from there, you're going to fill out a, a basically a medical intake form. We want to know all the important characteristics of you. Again, it only takes five to eight, maybe 10 minutes if you're verbose and you want to write us a, a you know, a chapter of a book. Um, but it, what it's going to do is going to let our team in Vancouver, Washington know exactly what your current condition is, what your biggest issues are, and what your goals are. And then we can produce the solutions specifically for those conditions and your performance goals. That's amazing. So that's a lot of, of hands-on work. I mean, that's not... No, that's, I mean, most supplement companies are not, almost none are doing that. Yeah, it was, it was one of the reasons that we got together with Bioptimizers is we had this really cool approach to, to personalized nutrition and supplementation with nootropics being kind of a, a primary piece of that. The challenge was it's hard to do. So guess what I did, Wendy? What'd you do, Mark? I, <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting. You <laughs> created some we, AI we... software. To just... <laughs> we, we did. So we do have some integration of that. But more important is um, I hired this incredible guy, Charles Buckley. Our, uh, we call him Mr. Robot. And he's developing robots for us that are going to help make that process faster, more accurate, and at scale. And so he's created these incredible robots for us that allow that basically tie into our, our massive database of 20 million plus data points of these different customers we've had through the years. And um, and then feeds it to a robot. The robot says, ah, these are the compounds. It, they need this much of this compound, this much of this compound, this much of this compound. And it blends it up and builds it into those capsules right then for you, as well as the powders and the sprays and the rest of it. So kind of cool stuff. Yeah, really, really cool. Yeah, really interesting. Yeah. 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 Yes. And yeah, I haven't received your your products yet, but I'm, they're in the mail, right? I actually got the notifications. I cannot wait to try them. I wish I could give a personal testimony right now. But uh, but yeah, I absolutely cannot wait to try them. Well, awesome. Is there anything else that I can answer? Or is that Yeah, we no, I think we did it. I think we covered it all. But so Mark, thank, thanks so much for uh, coming on the Myers Detox podcast. And uh, everyone, I'm Dr. Wendy Myers. I just love doing this show every week and bringing you experts from around the world just keep you know those little pieces of the puzzle that you need to upgrade your health because you deserve to feel good and uh just really it's my pleasure uh, doing this show every week and to help you guys so thanks for tuning in and i'm also thrilled to announce my heavy docu series that is coming out in 2024 i've uh, interviewed over 100 people about the topic of heavy metals and environmental toxins and how they are contributing to our obesity epidemic, how they're causing resistant weight loss, how they are affecting our sex, uh, thyroid, and stress hormones, how they're affecting our brain and contributing to the epidemic of dementia. Um, we're also gonna be talking about um, you know, diabetes, how toxins are contributing to diabetes and uh, contributing to the 40% of people that report digestive issues. We're also gonna to touch on emotional trauma and how that contributes to weight as well, because I think uh, that's super, super important to touch on for anyone that's struggling with their weight. Um, and we talk about, of course, uh, the problem of toxins and detox solutions, how to detox your body, all from these experts from all walks of life and uh, just so thrilled with the lineup. So you can check that out at theheavymovie.com.
The Myers Detox Podcast is created and hosted by Wendy Myers. This podcast is for information purposes only. Statements and views expressed on this podcast are not medical advice. This podcast, including Wendy Myers and the producers, disclaim responsibility for any possible adverse effects from the use of information contained herein. Opinions of guests are their own, and this podcast does not endorse or accept responsibility for statements made by guests. This podcast does not make any representations or warranties about guest qualifications or credibility. Individuals on this podcast may have direct or indirect financial interest in products or services referred to herein. If you think you have a medical problem, consult a licensed physician.